What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. It is Saturday night and as you know, Saturday night is war night um, and we are in a pretty good position. So we are on the cusp of getting this war chest. It pretty much doesn't matter win or lose, it's going to be a chest. So these are the kind of wars that you love. Um, but basically, as I promised, I want to uh, show you guys some war attacks today. Uh, we're just going to be going through a few of my uh, war teams. Um, you know, it's hopefully it's going to be in interesting and a bit entertaining for you guys. Um, and it should at least give you a little bit of insight into how I do my war attacks. Um, it is right at the beginning of the war. And for us, generally speaking, as an alliance in the beginning part of the war, we do a farming stage where we try and take out uh, the easier teams. Um, I say that because there are no easy teams, as we all know. Like once you get to a certain level, everybody is pretty difficult to beat. Um, so with that being said, um, I do have a team picked out for my first hit. Um, and then what I'll do is as we go, I'll sort of obviously chop and change the video so that hopefully this is as smooth as possible for you guys uh, when you do uh, view it back. Um, so let's go on to the battlefield. So we are fighting against the Fighters Indonesia. Um, so I'm assuming this is an, an Indonesian alliance um, from some of the names that is pretty evident. And I've had my eye on this guy over here. So it is, um, I think you say it, Ferry Yawan. Um, so I'm going to sort of move the camera around just so that I'm in the right place as we go. Um, and so that you can see everything that's going on. Um, so Ferry Yawan, um, he's got a pretty nice setup. I do quite like um, having Ludwig as a tank. I think at level 90, he's pretty stocky. Um, so he can be a pretty tough tank to deal with. Um, he is flanked by a slow speed hero, so he's kind of looking to take advantage of that. Um, and then we've got Haythor on, I'm, I would have put Haythor next to Ludwig, I think. Um, she is that good. Um, and then Kaleva with his mindless attack, obviously, is somebody to watch out for. Um, so in going up against these teams, basically, when you are looking to build your war attack teams, there are basically three types of teams. Um, that I would use. So the first one would be either a, it would be a 3-1. So you've got three of your main color and then one of each of an opposite color, maybe a support hero, a 3-2 um, or a 4-1 um, or a mono team. Um, so hopefully that makes sense to a lot of you, but if it doesn't, then as we go along, um, I will sort of demonstrate the different types of teams that I use. So for this first attack, we're going to be going 4-1. Um, and my main concern here is that I want a Dispeller for Ludwig. I want to be able to get rid of him um, as quickly as possible. Um, and then I also would kind of like a Reflector, uh, somebody that can reflect uh, Kalevo's Mindless Attack as well. Uh, so like I said before, I do have a team in mind and I want the teams that I'm using to be a bit more accessible to a lot of people. Um, so I'm going to go with heroes that probably a lot of you will have. Um, so, I mean, I'll start off with Matilda, who might be one that you might not have, uh, but she really is an essential part of this team that we're going to be building here. Uh, we have Li Zhu. Um, costume 2 Li Zhu is absolutely fantastic. So she's obviously able to dispel with tiles. Uh, which is a very unique skill um, and I've got her in there for silencing as well for that survivability for my team um, and then I want a dispel so I'm going to use rock for the dispel um, you can use any other dispeller but at the, the advantage of rock is that he has got elemental um, or sorry damage over time so he's got the sand damage uh, which we can definitely use to our advantage because Matilda is able to increase that uh, by 50%. So if we get her fiends out and we get rock fired up, um, that should be enough, hopefully. Um, and then the fourth yellow hero that I'm going to use is also a pretty readily available hero. So um, for this team, I was thinking maybe either Goldie. I might put in Goldie. I don't normally use Goldie, um, but because she has a reflect, it might be worthwhile for Kalevo. Um, but what I I really want to show you guys the way this team works. So just in case we do get into um, 
where I have the ability to be able to do that for you guys. I'm going to put it as I normally do. And I use this guy, Steropes, like Alan from The Hangover. He is fantastic. They honestly look exactly the same. If I can put a picture up on the screen right now, I will. Um, but they look in, uh, incredibly similar. And yeah, I, I absolutely love this hero. He's really great. And I'll hopefully get the chance to show you why. Um, and then we have Kitty. Kitty is going to be our reflector. She's going to be there. Um, hopefully, if we get into a sticky situation, we need a healer. We need that reflect for Kalevo. So hopefully, she'll be able to get us out of it. So with that being said, obviously, we want to make sure that our troops are correct so that these heroes are able to fire off within turn, within three tile matches, ideally. Um, so Steropes is kind of an in-between hero. So he's got charge mechanic. Uh, so I am going to use a um, crit troop for him. Um, and then for the others, I'm going to give Li Zhu the lowest mana troop that I have because she has the costume, so she'll fire off pretty quick. Um, sea Rock will go off within three matches, no problem. Um, and then the other troop that we need to change around is this one for Kitty. Um, just to make sure that she's able to fire off as quickly as possible. It's not ideal whenever I tap. I have to tap on the camera, so that's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, just let me know whether you want my face in it or not. Like, you know, this is just what I'm doing now. Um, but if you want me to, you know, go back to not having the face in there, then I can do. Um, but anyways, let's get into this attack. So we are... All right. Okay, perfect. So let's see if they're going to let us save this team unknown target right okay we just i'm just gonna do that again real quick i'm so sorry guys i was taking too long talking about these heroes and not enough time um in just getting on with it <laughs> but if i get on with that without talking about them then how will you know what's going on um so let's just quickly switch over the troops that we did before um that could actually work just fine um, but I'm going to swap them around just because that's how we had them before. Um, and then let us get to it. <laughs> just hung up a call from my wife. <laughs> that's not going to go down well, but yeah, this is, this is, this is important. All right. So we have a pretty decent amount of tiles on the board here. So we've got, uh, at least two yellow matches right off the bat. So, um, in terms of how you should take your matches, it's always best to take the lower match on the board first because then you don't mess up the top matches. So we're going to go with this bottom yellow match first. Um, and that's obviously dispelled his auto taunt, which is just an added bonus. Uh, we may even be able to kill him with this second match, which would be insane. Um, but there we go. So we've got um, basically Ludwig's going to go down right now. No ifs, ands, or buts. So he is just a goner. And now we can get to work. So basically, I'm just going to throw Steropes Revive up, throw those fiends out, get the sand damage out. Then we'll probably silence the left-hand side just so that Haythor doesn't have a chance. She did resist that, so unfortunately she's not silenced. But that shouldn't matter too much because hopefully we have enough going on with the sand damage that that isn't going to matter. Um, so this sand and this poison basically should just cut this team down now. Just watch how much damage they're going to be taking in a second if they ever stop comboing. Right, there we go. So that's one turn. two turns and they're getting pretty low so i'm gonna be in trouble <laughs> oh kalevo fired off three turns and check it out easy peasy <laughs> anyways that is hit number one i've got to go and find out what is going on but i will be right back i promise see you all later 
All right, crisis averted. We are back for hit number two, and we are gonna go up against this guy, Donk Zay. I think is how you say his name. Um, we have a pretty heavy hardcore looking team here. Um, basically, there are some premier heroes on here. We've got two construct heroes in there. Ferris, who's gonna bring the pain with the poison damage, um, and then Gilak. This old guy just hits like an absolute behemoth uh, for his size he is just insanely powerful um, so I've got to watch out for him he is at average speed so I think that is maybe a little mercy with him but not much um, and then there's a lot of poison damage coming out of this guy as well so we need a team that is going to be able to wreck this whole team and just destroy them before they get a chance and we also have to be thinking about dispelling this guy's taunt that is going to be important as well. So it's either going to be a team that's going to be able to have a primary dispeller in both elements, both colors, um, or it's going to be a team that ignores taunt. Um, and I kind of have a team that ignores taunt in mind uh, because I think it's going to be a bit more fun. Um, so I'm going to go um, again. I'm going to go 4-1 against this team because we do need that power. Um, but I've got a team in mind. That's kind of going to sort of ignore the taunt, hopefully. <laughs> that sounds very confident. Um, so let's go with this team. So we're going to use Guardian Hippo, uh, one of my favorite heroes, just absolutely insane hero. Uh, not used enough on attacking teams, in my opinion. Um, and then Sobek. So Sobek ignores buffs. He doesn't necessarily ignore the taunt. Um, and then I'm going to use, I really do need a cleanse. Um, and I'm going to use sort of a pseudo cleanse in Asmia just because she has that counter attack as well. So if we do need to take a couple of hits, I'm, I just want to throw it back at them basically. So that's why Asmia is coming along with us. Um, and then for our dispeller, we definitely, definitely need a dispeller. Um, I think we are going to use, I'm a bit low down here. Let's see, where is my man? not Disco Melendor. Uh, we're not going to use him in that version. We'll use the Toon version of Melendor um, because he gets a massive health recovery, gives uh, defense up. It is for nature characters that comes to Undispellable, but we don't really need that. We just need a big heal and dispel. Um, so we are going to use Toon Melendor. Um, and then for our final uh, hero, I'm still undecided. Are we going to use um green or are we gonna go blue all day long um i think that maybe i'm gonna throw loki in here just for a little bit of a wild card um you know loki is an excellent hero and he can do he can do multiple things that you need him to do so <laughs> we will do that oh actually no because i'm gonna then be having three i'm gonna be having too many um average speed heroes so this is just the thinking about tiles and making sure that i've got heroes that can go off within three tile matches um so we're going to go with we go for broke and we go with finley um okay so this is our team set up basically if we get three blue matches this whole this this thing is over um if we don't then we just need to use melendor to kind of pull us through by the skin of our teeth let's hope that that doesn't happen i'd prefer for the blue matches to come right away so uh, let's see if it'll let me go in. Brilliant. All right, we are off. <laughs> Hit number two. Here we go. Oh, that's not a lot of blue, is it? That's really not a lot of blue. Um, all right, so now we're going to have to try and work this board. And I think Forces and Asmir are our safest. I mean, um, Haythor our safest two heroes to chuck some tiles into um, but we don't want to go too randomly about it we sort of want to try and keep things together but you know what I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get some blues coming in right okay that's not too shabby um, we can probably get away with another so I'm just gonna throw those reds into him over there and then if we move the purple across, basically it's going to combo the green and then we could get 
a little bit more blue up but it's also going to this blue match down the left hand side that blue that i just tapped is going to bring these two blues up at the bottom as well um so this is okay so we now have another blue match over there it is taking quite a bit of time so i'm not sure whether i'll be able to make it i could so if i drop this yellow down that will then give me my two blue matches because it'll give me one down the middle um and nah but that blue's then going to drop into that pocket up the top damn this is a bit of a tricky one and i don't want to make a mistake here okay so i'm going to move this yellow up there we go right so that's a bit more tiles than i wanted um, but this should then give me my blues. But I am going to need a dispel for Melendor. So I am going to need a green as well. Because Forces is going to throw up the taunt. And if I don't have a dispel, I'm just going to be wasting a whole bunch of heroes. But then if I bring this blue down here, I should be able to get that. I should be able to get a green maybe in the bottom there. There is a chance that a green comes up. Which didn't happen unfortunately that's always like when you say there's a chance that a green's gonna come up there's there's no chance it just it, it ain't gonna happen um but we do definitely need our green so we're probably gonna have to take a hit from gilak as well so if i now um throw up hippo's buff and i use asmia to cleanse um like i said before about the counter attack so at least we're gonna have the counter attack going and that will give me basically one last chance um, to get my greens up. Uh, so I can either move this yellow across or I can sort of do the red diamond. But then that's going to combo a whole lot of different things. Um, so I think probably the safest bet um, is just to try moving the yellow across. Um, but then I'm thinking that green's going to come up as well. Uh, nah, I'm going to go. I'm going to move the blue across because then I'm guaranteed the green. Okay, the green came in at the bottom. Right, so now we can go ahead and we'll dispel the taunt. Um, it's not a huge problem because we're leaving some buffs up, but the problem is that they've been, they've had their health boosted, so it's going to be pretty difficult to take these guys out. Um, normally, if I'd have fired everybody off all at the same time, you know, it would have been game over for the whole team. Uh, but now it's not quite, we're not quite there. So there is still a little bit of work to do. Um, but you know what? We, we, we don't mind a little bit of hard work. <laughs> okay, so um, enough jokes. Let's see what we can do here. So let us... I mean, Haythor, I'm probably going to have to fire Haythor off again by the looks of this board. Uh, Gilak is definitely going off. Um, so I'm thinking if I just try and clear down the middle a little bit, I might, there we go, I was just hope. I was just about to say I might get another blue come up. Um, like I said, unfortunately, Haythor is going to be going off. And we do have the counter attack up, so let's see if this is going to kill. Brilliant, that's exactly what we want. But then Gilak is a little son of a bitch. Honestly, this guy is horrible. Look at that. Just, just look at that damage, that's insane. Um, so now Jove is going to go off and we are pretty screwed. So we're going to try for, you know, obviously we can kill Gilak with that blue match, uh, which is exactly what I want to do. Um, and just kind of hope that we can come back around and get to Jove. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Five minutes left. Jeez, I've been talking too much. Oh, damn, this is going to be close. Right, okay, we've gotten rid of Jove. I'm not sure if I want to do that. How much damage am I going to be taking here? 213 per turn for two more turns. I can just about get away with it with one of these two, with Finley. Um, but that poison damage didn't stick on Haythor. So unless we get another blue match here, this is probably going to be a loss and i don't know how much time do i have left four minutes okay um shit 
oh these are the these are just the worst kind of matches honestly like this could so easily have been just a pretty easy win but now oh man i'm just going for broke here like seriously haythor you suck i hate you <laughs> i hate you oh man we're still in the fight though and finley is a reviver so there is a chance you know it's an outside chance but there is kind of a chance um if we can get some blues up this could this could be good oh shit Whew. oh man that was close right hit number two unsuccessful unfortunately um, so we've just got to go ahead and clean this team. This is the rules. Them's the rules. So you got to abide by it. Um, so I'm literally just going to pick a few random heroes from somewhere down in the roster. I mean, let's go with Russell. I haven't used him in a minute. Um, June. Um, Colin won't be on any of my teams. And um, who else? Um, literally whoever's whoever's there um when you are going for cleans guys just just don't put like all a mono hero in just in case um it's very unlikely that you're not going to get the tiles that you need um but on a really basic clean like this you probably can but i've had it before where i've gone in a clean um and it should have been so easy um and before you know it you're just screwed totally screwed because you didn't have any tiles um, so yeah, just honestly with the cleans, take your time, make sure that it counts and give yourself the best possible opportunity by taking more than one colored hero. I, that's my little bit of advice for cleans. Um, and with that, we are going to end this horrible, horrible woman, um, just kill her dead. And <laughs> that'll be it for hit number three. Um, hopefully I'll get some time tomorrow um to do the rest of my war hits and to record them properly if i don't though please forgive me i will at least post this video on online um and please let me know um if it's helped you guys um and obviously let me know in the comments um and i will see you all again soon hopefully there is a bit more to this video but if there isn't love you all peace out bye